I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. So in our last reading, we read about how Uzziah was smitten with leprosy by God for daring to think he could perform priesthood ordinances when he had no authority, and how Jotham, his son, reigned as a regent for the last few years of Uzziah's life. Now we're going to read about the reign of Jotham. Now remember, this is um, Pekah has become king in Israel now. All that turmoil is going on. Assyria, during Jotham's reign, Assyria is invading Israel and conquering half the land. So here we go. We're going to pick this up in 2 Kings chapter 15. Uh, we're going to read verses 32 through 35. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, began Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, to reign. Five and twenty years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. He did according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Howbeit the high places were not removed. The people sacrificed and burned incense still in the high places. He built the higher gate of the house of the Lord. Now what is the higher gate? I'm not quite sure, and it doesn't really tell me in the footnotes. So anyway, he's a righteous king too. He's a good guy, just like Uzziah. Now you'll note, if you if you'll recall back, it said that in the twentieth year of Jotham, that he said, and Hoshea this is in chapter fifteen, so back in verse thirty. Hoshea, the son of Elah, made a conspiracy against Pekah and reigned in his stead in the 20th year of Jotham. But it says here that Jotham was king for only 16 years. Now this tells us that Jotham was regent for four years while his father, Uzziah, was still king. And that this 20 years is counting the regnal years as part of Jotham's reign. So the 20th year of Jotham means 16 years as king plus four years as regent. But now we turn to Second Chronicles, chapter 27, and we will read verses 1 through 6. Chapter heading states, Jotham reigns, builds up the kingdom, and subdues the Ammonites. Okay. Jotham was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah did. Howbeit he entered not into the temple of the Lord, and the people did yet corruptly. He built the high gate of the house of the Lord, and on the wall of Ophel he built much. Moreover, he built cities in the mountains of Judah, and in the forests he built castles and towers. He fought also with the king of the Ammonites, and prevailed against them. And the children of Ammon gave him the same year an hundred talents of silver, and ten thousand measures of wheat, and ten thousand of barley. So much did the children of Ammon pay unto him, both the second year and the third. So Jotham became mighty, because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. So there we have it. Jotham, just like Uzziah, is able to subdue his enemies, because he seeks to the Lord. Now, I love that he states, it states that uh, Jotham did not go into the temple. He didn't do that. He didn't make his father, he didn't uh, make the same error as his father. But at the same time, the religion is becoming corrupted again. People are still, are now following a corrupt religion. So, and Jotham is letting it, he, he's, he himself is righteous, but he's letting the nation fall into a corrupt religion. So, now, my next video will actually will be returning to Ether briefly, and then we will be reading Isaiah. So we will talk about Isaiah then, and we will see you in the next one.